For most participants, this soccer pitch at Benley Park in Kelowna may simply be a place to exercise and relax after a hard day. But for members of the Kelowna Kodiaks, it's a place to escape from addictions, disorders, and for many, life on the streets. Over the past four years, the homeless soccer team has been supporting local homeless and underprivileged individuals with one simple release, organized sport. During that time, the team has grown from five or six people kicking the ball around to 10 to 15 regular players, seven volunteers, and a spot on the Urban Rec soccer schedule. A lot of the guys will ride their bike all the way out here to Rutland or catch the bus or whatever they need to do to get here. They just, they figure it out and we don't have to worry about it. They'll, we know they'll be here on time. One of the longest serving members on the team is James. He joined the group three and a half years ago while living on the streets of Kelowna. During that time, he was struggling with addiction and his life seemed to be on a further downward spiral to an even darker place. On and off the street, I've dealt with a lot of addictions, pretty much isolation in the community. With nowhere to turn, his addictions and isolation continued to pull him down until one day back in 2010 while at a doctor's appointment. He saw an ad and made a decision that would create a small but positive movement away from the dark path he was on. We just walked by the post and do you want to play soccer? And I'm like, well, it's a, not, it's a start somewhere. It's a better than what I wrote I'm going down right now. It was the first experience where we, uh, we've come across someone who, who is a little bit of a challenge, um, you know, maybe a bit beyond our, our skills. For James, heading to soccer each week would offer a small interruption from the problems that would await back on the streets. Thanks to not only the support of the Kelowna Kodiaks, but also organizations such as the Canadian Mental Health Association, Interior Health, and In From The Cold, he was able to secure housing two and a half years ago and has been slowly rebuilding his life. It's still not perfect, but it's helped to create a positive movement. It's definitely helped get me housing, stay in shape, get healthy. James has grown as a, as a person and he's seeking supports on his own. The addictions waned, uh, the mental health issues have been addressed and continue to be addressed. Soccer has got me two, three days clean, guaranteed clean for two or three days a week, so my mindset is on soccer. Thanks to his dedication to the sport, as well as rebuilding his life, James was recently selected to the Canadian Homeless World Cup soccer team. It's an amazing achievement as he was one of only four players chosen from around 12 teams in Western Canada. In all, eight players from across the country will travel to Santiago, Chile in October to take part in the event which will feature 63 teams from 49 nations. Last year my name was thrown around the soccer field to go to Poland, but I was only housed for a year and I wasn't that stable on my medication, so in the last year I've really focused on Tai Chi. You know, if I get injured, I know how to fix myself. It's not specifically on his skill, it's on the fact that he has committed to something for so long and has, uh, has shown a willingness to improve every facet of his life to, in order to, to fulfill this dream. For James, winning isn't on his mind. It's simply enjoying the experience and using it as motivation to continue fighting against the pressures of addiction. Just take it one day at a time. Just make it over this milestone and then see, stay on the grind. <laughs> I'm not quitting soccer, no way, man, uh-uh. <laughs> over 100,000 spectators are expected to visit the event from October 19th to the 26th. Reporting for Go Okanagan on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.